one. That's what they need to do, being second all season, but that is not what they want. And this start from Nalpo could change that at the start. Here he goes. What an entrance. Well, there we go. Early start from that man, Nalpo, the best player, the MVP for all one in the first split online. And I'll tell you what, if he can bring that form to life. Falcons, they could not get really near them, couldn't get close to them, albeit that first event. And now they've got to worry because Zayko, the world champ of his own right, gentle mates get there first of the major. Yeah, got to remember there's some firepower down there on the EU side of things as well. It was Atachi doing what Atachi does best, staring down O'Khaled. The demos are coming through, it's a phenomenal save there, just but more follow-up shots. Oh, this is the rule one special from last season, but they don't hang on. Atachi gets the second and gentlemen, mates, they grab the lead. O'Khaled let this one bounce. Was that the correct decision? Could he have got it before? Oh, he was stuck sideways. A horrible position to be in. Atachi. The two players who stood up for me, really, but here's the third. It's Juicy onto the backboard. He gets it straight down. Nalpo makes the save. Seiko's coming in. It's on target, and it's three. Phenomenal placement there from Seiko, but it'll set up there. Juicy, free backboard. Just gets one and worries out two of the rule one defense. Just Ahmed just throwing himself at it, but the top left was open. Khaled couldn't get back in time. Right now, Seiko, that's great. You can see Ahmed circling for a demo. Rule one trying to force something to happen, but it's just going to be wide open for Seiko. That's four on the board for the mates. It's that world champion quality right there from Seiko. That extra little touch wasn't read by the Rule 1 defender. And that truly was a touch. These guys have been competing together every single regional in person. You can see these vibes just as strong as ever. But now, Poe, all of a sudden, open net, which is an interesting. Juicy got out 50 and then Seiko, well, <laughs> he's just completely <laughs> left the ball. Done a little bit of a drive by. Now, Poe says that's the easiest goal I'll score. This ball instead it bounces away from him. The bounce not favoring rule one on this occasion. Seiko gets the flippery set. It falls to Juicy. This could kill it, and it does. It's 5 2. Gentle mates refusing to panic. Yeah, just when you thought perhaps the comeback was on. There we go again. And it's Seiko just being that facilitator. Just forces a fantastic 50 in the middle. And there it is. Juicy doing the rest. By three goals, unless there's one more for Rule 1. It's saved on the goal line. Nothing for Rule 1 to take with them into Game 2. Juicy's going to try and kill this one. If Seiko keeps it up, actually. Gentle Mate's hungry for more, but Rule 1 trying to get something going themselves. It ends. There's a lot on the line. As touch Ooh, a what a touch, Skim, that is. Just the angle. You're kidding. Oh. No respect for Rule 1 at all. They said he won't have this. And third man creeping up. It's almost a, well, it's not, it's obviously not a psycho, but it does so, can rule one this time. It's a bit of a, it's a bit of a turntable situation, as that's another opening, and Seiko once again has gone walkabout in defense, driving up the near post and just not expecting the shot. Huge demo from Ahmad, but yeah, Seiko, maybe he was uh, fooled by the smoke screen, who knows, but thanks for being. Would have been bar down, rule one, keeping the pressure on, but... It's all about if you make one mistake, the level of competition, I mean, it's just going to be a goal every day of the week. As you see there, a freebie for Itachi, and that aggression from Rule 1 not paying off. I understand what Rule 1 are doing. They're trying to make sure they're not playing too slow, they're not being caught behind, they're not going to... In the right spot for that, but you do expect it. Round 1 of the Swiss, it's a long game, and Itachi, oh, what a double! I didn't think he would get the shot, couldn't get around it. He had other ideas, double off the backboard, three. On the board for the gentle mates. It's an explosion oh. of gentle mates as well. We haven't seen them popping off like this. From fourth to fifth was a fair few points. Rule one have to counter Ooh. that. I almost can. Armad's coming in. Armad scores. What a game so far. Forbidden Temple, that's where the matchups are. Yeah, it's he's certainly providing right now. Now, but look at that. He almost scored, but he's beaten two. And how many times do we see that in Mina during this first backboard read? Drops it down. Khaled can't quite attack it straight away just trying to pop it up juicy's there as well he's looking for the ground Zahmad might just get 50 it out of things oh, general mates 2-0 gonna finish very much as it started with gentle mates having all the pressure until Ahmad gets it to Nalpo it's the finish better this time it's so much better the counter attack is complete they've had two shots but that's all they need look at the extra touch beats Itachi and then it's just juicy in net phenomenal phenomenal shot and they might just be able to get their first game of the Copenhagen Major. Just needs to hit the ground now, the ball. Itachi no boost, works it down. Juicy, is it going to be a zero-second magic? No, there's that man. The MVP of Raw 1. And there's Khaled, who's setting up his own double touch into his own net. Now, but very awkward. There's there the great is. shot, and you just see it facing backwards near post. 
Sejo saw that coming the whole way and just placement. That's all he needed on that shot. That's a glorious play there from Juicy to get the assist, though, to land his car and flip reset button. He goes to the back foot. He shoots it. What a save that is from Seiko. Can Arma turn it in? Not quite. Gallic surely. Yes, he bundles it home. So much work had to be done. But there's the equalizer. Oh, now Po did so much work and Juicy just oh. re jumping top ends for the shot. It was far down. Couple of defense. Seiko wants another one. Genome's not happy with it, but they've overcommitted a touch. This can happen. And things are starting to get frustrating, no and there it is again, another open net. Rule one is starting to turn the tide. Yeah, and the smiles have well and truly now been wiped off the gentle mates' faces. They're in game mode, they're leaning forwards in this sort of scenario and a live offline setting, but not rule one. Looking phenomenal, but again, Lovely. there it is, a quick counter-attack. It is juicy, that middle man, he's looking for that link-up play. And he has just caught out the defense there, outpacing, faking underneath the pre jump from Naupo. But he just got caught out last minute. Gentle mates, focus. They have been able to work it out here. Tachi, no boost, just throws it forward a little. Double commit coming through from rule one. We're starting to see the pressure, the fatigue setting in. Four minutes of overtime. There's the shot. Juicy fires. <laughs> Gentle mates. <laughs> Take down rule one in the first round of the Swiss. It was far from simple in the end, but gentlemates, when they had their chance in overtime, no mistake was made. 14 shots to 13 in that final game, but all that matters is that gentlemates take series one by three games to one. Sort of scrimmage. <laughs> uh, if Gentlemen's can win this, that will be yet another ridiculous upset. But it is going to be BDS off to the races early. Monkey Moon with a wide open net. Gentlemen's did not get that clear. And with everybody committing, the net was wide open for Big Evan. And the fist bumps make. Waited patiently. He didn't panic. You know, he just held strong. And that should be a goal oh for my. them. It is. Seiko turns around and spots an open bottom corner. And that was a. Very, oh. very big miss there by Monkeyman, completely whiffing on an attempt to clear ball. So a couple of mistakes. Knocking heads with the touch. He keeps the play alive and Drolly scoops it up and yep. Juicy has to race back and he can't get there. 2-1 BDS. Well, it's been clinical finishing, but not so clinical in the defensive end. It's again a double commit to one area in the pitch from Gentlemates. So if you're going to do that, you have the continued theme for Gentlemates is they are managing to get clears. That could be a huge chance. Drally's trying to float in front of him, but he can't get goal side. <laughs> Juicy muscles it in as BDS once more send everyone. I mean, why is Monkey Moon going for this? I don't understand why he wouldn't just leave that for his teammates in front of him, but you know, maybe he. Game one. We're trying to extend this series for as long as we can. Going toe to toe. This goes with oh Tachi and Drally oh can't my. get there. Gentlemates, take game in the air here. Now some kind of a back pass towards Seiko. Gets involved in the attack. It's dropped down and in for Juicy. Well, gentlemates have shown up huge. They have got BDS already down by a game and they've opened the scoring in game two as well. Yeah, and Monkey Moon has five players in the world and he needs to put that on display and oh, recover dead. quickly. And there is a response all thanks to Exotic. Yeah, it didn't take long. Kickoff lost intentionally towards Exotic. And it just looked like before Gentlemates could establish a proper rotation, defensive line challenging everything early. But again, Gentlemates have broken free from that. Can they stop oh. B BDS? This is okay. No, they can't. It's Drally who scores. A miss from Gentlemates left it uncontested. And Drally follows up his own backboard hit. At the debut split, debut land, Drally brings it. A lot of track that Gentlemates have to make up for, and they gotta keep up on the ball, but a good challenge from Monkey Moon lands it almost oh. on the ground. Wait, Wait a minute. Gentlemates keeping it up. Juicy's up to the ceiling. Gentlemates don't have a lot of boots to work with, so BDS. Right where they started, Exotic was bumped off, and Charlie makes a save, but now you gotta worry about boost, and this comes from the side, and Itachi scores! Well, it's 1-0 Gentlemates, as they've had a lead now in every game that we've seen. And it's a massive dunk off Drally's car, Orange Trail, so it did take a last touch off Drally. Yeah, maybe second or third touches to just set themselves up towards the net. And What's now you just got all of Gentlemen's camped out in front of an open net. 
2-0 for Channel Mates. Oh, Monkey been shaking his head there. I don't think they can believe what's happened. Itachi just comes in, takes the ball away cleanly, and no one's home for BDS. 2-0 Gentle Mates. One of the best teams in Europe. Gentle Mates giving them a real problem right now. Here's Exotic pass to Drally. Ooh! Oh, what a shot! And what a pass it was to set it up. This guy. It's that fresh blood you need on the team. 24 seconds, it is not over. Up high, BDS and BDS, they got a roll to the blue half, and seconds are going by, but Drawley's got 40 boosts, and he's made magic happen before. This gets put to the side, Monkey Moon or Itachi is ready, and now it goes to the orange it's end. Up. It's still going, and BDS have boosts to work with, and Itachi puts it to the ground. They're looking like the team who are really playing for the win here. This is great to see the confidence has fully returned to the Gentleman's roster. It's dropped out that middle for Itachi, and it is 1-0 to the mates. What a setup from the top. A win from Seiko, and he's given life to Gentlemates and Itachi. He it's looking like it's going to be gentle mates. One last drive out of Itachi. Team VDS got to go across the world. And Monkey Moon still has fight him. Exotic no boost. Drawley with a bit left. And it's looking impossible. Oh. The ball is still up. <laughs> oh, but gentle mates upset. What a result for gentle mates. Propelling them to the. Oh, it's so close to his monitor, <laughs> which scares me a bit. The poor boy's eyes. But otherwise, just the, the level of mechanical skill is shown. But down the other end, Gentle Mates, not so bad either. Yeah, you want to you wanna hype up the Falcons' uh, mechanics here, but Gentle Mates, they've got some of their own, especially Itachi. He is that player that's going to be everywhere all at once, so you got to have... Seconds left, there is the opportunity to do so if you can keep this ball up. TRK up into the sky, challenge on this one. Ruas trying to keep it going, but it's air dribble down, a clear hits the ground, and Gentle Mates and still yet to score in this series, unbelievably. Killers to the side, Ruas was waiting. This is the synergy they have. Killers again, he should change that here, and he does. Falcons get their goal. I love this pass. It is so clean. Killers immediately spots his teammate, gets it sent back. It's one, two, and through type of roll up from Seiko. Gonna try and drive this one towards net. Can he get the butt play? No, Itachi goes for the follow-up. The cleanup comes through, and gentle mates tie up the game. It's actually the perfect man for the job right there. He is the player who has that composure to pick the spot. Would have been so tempting to blast that one into the center. Stop. And here they come. Whoa. Juicy with a shot on target. Killers with a save. Set this one off. This one could go in. It does. And it's Seiko to give gentle mates their match point. Sending this one up to the field of the Falcons and, and TRK over one. Oh, Killers, it's over the top of him, is it? Yes, it is. Gentle mates keeping the momentum going. It's more quality from them. They just held firm and stole a goal down the other end. They look so good here. That's the level of three. Towards Killers. What can Killers do with it? Can he take the shot? Can someone from Falcons put the ball in the back of the net? Yes, they can. It works out. It's 1-1. One, one. Ruas is waking up in game three. There you have it. Killers just bobbing and weaving through the defense. It was a crossbar hit, but you know his brother's got to help him out. <laughs> for this squad, but offensively has been such a masterclass, and he's going to take a shot of his own towards the crossbar. Double oh! on the goal oh! line. Juicy with the finish. Gentle Bates are going to Saturday. Another massive... That meant first killer on Gen G. The odd man out there amongst his teammates. Obviously, the major win is out. Get your again. It's going to be a touchy. Opening it up. Itachi was the top scorer through Swiss. Online, he was more of a support player, but he has been playing a leading role for Gentlemates. The perfect start for Gentlemates. Picking up where they left off in the Swiss stage. Oh, and maybe one more! And we already saw this at the beginning of the game. Gentlemates off kickoff. Generating, you could see Juicy slow down, not flip into that kickoff. And that was a beautiful kickoff. Seiko, looking for that double. Apparently Jack going for goal, and he catches the defense out. Yeah, just a positional mistake there, and that Jack's ready downfield. First killer with the pass. You see Jack just trusting his teammate with the clear, and that you, as we said, Juicy, the most... What can they do here? There's the pass across, but... It does again. bounce. Ball still alive. They're trying to keep oh, it up. Chronic brief left. Gentlemen, not look
looking for that superstar player either. Obviously, they've got world champs, major champs, but hang on a minute, the demos come through. Could this be wide open for Seiko? It is. Another early goal for Gentle Mates. And Seiko, the world champion on this roster, the one who is leading the way during the fires, I mean, these guys performing out of their facility here, Gentle Mates, with so much support. Oh! And off the fire and touch you again. You can see the panic in Genji's defense. Itachi gets the hit, the demo from behind the pre-flip from Itachi. He barely beats first killer. Any easier to dodge, but managed to do it, keeping Genji close. And that's gonna be the third goal. Itachi is popping off. They're just all over them here in the first series. Gentle mates, yet to taste defeat in Copenhagen so far. The crowd does not yeah, rush their first killer. He had time, but this is what the pressure can do. Here's a free shot for apparently Jack gets one back. Apparently Jack scoring yet again. Seiko looking for a clear and ended up passing right out into the middle. And you can see Juicy being chased by Chronic. Oh, mate, just so impressive this tournament. They're peaking at the right time. They're going to get one back here, Chronic. Three seconds. We saw the kickoff strategies from the other side of things. What did Gen G have in store here? There's still time left. We know it's possible, but there needs to be a kickoff play for Gen G. See if they have it. Trying to go for a kill. Gets back right. It is airborne. First killer has half a tank, decides to pass it off to Jack. Jack let it through, wasn't able to control it. And Gentlemates win two back to back. Control it. Goes for a 50, wins it forward. And there's a bump. It looks like it might have even been a double bump, potentially from apparently Jack. Gentlemates over committing in that corner. Seiko getting caught out. He cut rotation and wanted another piece of it. In the end, apparently Jack getting the bump. Gen G, what is losing in series, particularly on land? Something we always speak about is if you're going to lose, lose playing your way. GG, you're doing right. They're just doing it right now. Playing the play style that they want to. They're not worried about what gentlemen have up front. They're playing with speed and they're playing with confidence. Coming through, Jack's up. Loses it, but first killer in net. Clear downfield. Three and how about a third goal? Gentlemates, they threw everything they had. Juicy needed to get that pass over to Itachi. Instead, he bounced past it for a counterattack. Maybe wanting to take that shot on his own. It feels like they've swapped places here, these two teams. It's Seiko with a huge win. And that just has to be game three secured there for Gen G. It looks like gentlemates are rattled. What was said at that time? Throughout the series, it's denying a touch. He's really awkward. He's just completely missed that one. Oh, Five on the board for Gen G. The wheels have fallen off for Gentlemates. Five to nothing. Call a timeout, Gen G. And in game three, have held a clean sheet with five goals to their own. Gen G. And after getting shut out last game, you know Gentlemates are eager to score and maybe should have on that play. But that they find through their way through finally after an immense amount of pressure, battering down the defenses of Gen G. He just looked frustrated in the end, and brute force got to flick. A nice little joint play. It's a beautiful setup for Jack, who is upstairs. And first killer with the shot on. Jack takes it high. Silly touch off the joint for Chronic. Don't we like seeing that? And Seiko, that's not the 50 that he wanted, but look at the quality on that finish. Oh, yes, and also smart. Still aren't ready to, uh, to capitalize on those little mistakes, and that's been the difference here. After that game three, they're just sitting back a little bit, and oh my goodness, Jack's gone low! Gen G in front! Apparently, Jack is the tip of the Gen G spear, and he finds his mark once more! I mean, you could only fit a ball there. You have to be careful not to overcommit. That's a big dive, and it's gonna be a wide open net. First killer is two. Gen G just all over gentle mates and again the midfield challenges just too quick the positioning too good for FK but apparently Jack there to break up the play it might even
even just bounce in, it does! What a read from apparently Jack. It's actually throwing everything at it. Gen G4 on the board. A statement off that timeout. And now they've tied this series up to a piece. Apparently Jack, it is clear that he is feeling it. Mechanically, he is in the zone. This is a different Gen G than we saw from the first two games, almost adding one more. Gen G. They win this game, and surely they force that timeout. Huge clear. Might have even been a little bit of pitch there off first killer, who was going for that challenge. That's a hard shot. Top corner from Seiko. Yeah, Seiko just reminds everyone that he's a world champ. Look at the precision over the top of Jack. Top corner. That's quality. Forcing Chronic to go back. Up to first killer. First right killer pass. looking for Jack. It's a shooting opportunity. The shot is placed perfectly. Apparently, Jack scores once more for Gen G. Look at the three man pass play for Gen G as well. It was Chronic to FK. So much space for Good first one more. He gets the, the pass to first killer. Back oh. one touch. Seiko misses. Apparently Jack dodging the contact, getting the setup, and first killer navigates around Seiko for the go-ahead goal. Gen G have flipped game five on its head. They just need one little moment, one opportunity. They took it. They get the extra off the kickoff, and now they've got the lead. Gentle mates pushing forward. Drop down in more. No! The response there for gentle mates, juicy, forcing the issue. That second touch, it waterfalls down for a touch. An incredible last minute effort from Gen G has a chance now. Apparently, Jack with some boost going for the ball. Out he dodges one. With the second blow, it comes and it kills Alpine. The major MVP of last season, apparently, Jack doing so much work. First killer with the clean. First major of the season, there's a touch. Apparently Jack in the midfield, 50 out, bumps coming through. connie has got an open net! And Tachi, he felt threatened, and for good reason. Apparently Jack was chasing him down, and he opened up that gap for Chronic. We'll keep on it. Seiko to the backboard, gets bumped off, no double, but the rebound goal for Itachi is there! Just a huge response from Seiko. The first touch impeccable over the top of Chronic. FK dove. The bump came through from Juicy. Three man offense from Gentleman. He's popping it up now into the corner. Just over a minute left. Both sides. You feel like next goal might just win this. And it might be for Seiko. Itachi. He is dragging Gentlemates to this victory. He has been on fire in every single one of Gentlemen. Makes the reset, misses, ball trying to be down, still got to be alive. Gentlemates, force champions field. Play of 2024, it's a free touch, Jack's gone, oh, he's over the defense. minute, a touch, it's he has open. an open net. And how fitting is it that Itachi is there to punch that goal in? Gen G, they overcommit and Gentlemates punish. First killer is in a little bit of trouble. It touches right there. Goes low shot on one. Follow up. Fight down. Nerves of steel for gentlemates. Itachi started that play with a perfect touch, bringing that ball upfield. Itachi getting that ball to Seiko and the composure, the boldness from Seiko to slow it down. To do that on chair. Hang on a minute. Well, haven't we seen this from Europe before? Just when you think that they should be playing a little bit more conservative. Oh. And that's why Itachi just looking for the crowd. Genji looking for one more. Chronic won't be able to get back. Gentlemen, persevere.
2-2, Jay. It's our second semi-finals. Well, anything to what we just saw out of Vitality and Chip. Yeah, you know what? Juicy does. What a response. I mean, everyone went cake off. They said, surely the gentlemates, even after the Swiss stage they had, they've started off so strongly here. Three seconds. As well, I must have gone crazy on Twitch. Yeah, shout out to everyone watching back at home. And that just made me wide open here. He's got the second on the board for the general mates. It's a nice little P roller and Rise absolutely underestimating where Vitera was. The speed was not there, the spin the ball went way past him and Atachi. It's gonna be a relatively decent shot, but juicy to the backboard. Don't buy Vitera. Rise is there! And here on Sunday, he will be showing up. That's more like it for Rise. Just wait for Vitera to get the 50. Juicy. He wanted to get a bit more of that one and just the placement. Rise now up 40 boost, but who's there first? It's going to be Atachi sent on Matera to catch. He can keep it up though, he's got a beat as well. There's Atachi, he wanted a better one there. The demo came through. Matera's trying to keep it in the air. Juicy wants it on the ground. Atachi might just get one more gentlemen's game one. And he brings something similar here today. Rice is very awkward, Juicy. Here we go, back one shot open again. Seiko managing to follow up on the chance as well. It's Juicy faking out Rice. You never see that happen. He just panicked, didn't he, Rice? He got caught out of position, just pushed to the side. But gentlemen, still on the tack. A lot of boost and pressure. Atto, that's not the best clear. It's wide open and save no! Juicy fires! 2-0, gentlemen. A series of a lifetime for Juicy so far. Puts up a pirouette. Rice helps it on his way in when the save may well have come in. Rise sees one as it goes for the player. Matera, a tame shot on target. Oh, pass, pass down there. though, Atto, Rise! What a drop down. Atto with a bit of magic. They're expecting the second shot. Juicy three jumps, two on the backboard for the gentle mates. Rise goes low. Or cannot eat fast. The defensive they're sitting as well, Rise. All he can do is pop it up. The fake comes through. The shot goes through. The shot was good, the scoreline is even better. Rice taps it up finally as they get boost. But Atachi reads it, the fake comes out, and Carmen Corbin, with a taste of their own medicine. Gentle mate, clear by two again. It was that boost pressure as well. You just saw take off and have a look at this, Hello? a double fake kickoff. It's gonna be Rice over to Ventura. Atto's there as well, back to back. Oh. Rise has to do a three-point turn to start this playoff, but a pinch from Matera to Atto, back again. It's a little bit of ticket tacking between the French backboard. Sago has to wait down, but Fatsy's not there. Oh, still up. Gentlemates, what a down. Oh, no, Rice! Gentlemates, two on. It's repeatedly been the issue that Kami Kulpa faced, but now it's Atto with more than enough boost, can get the rotation. Matera comes out of a blind spot, it's 1-0 Casey. Matera was looking for the bump on Seiko, but he turned into the offense. Atto faking it out. Matera finding the angle. Seiko in massive. They overcommitted a touch, gentle mates. Does that cost them all? This is gonna be so bad for Rice. Oh! Demolition, Derby sent down pitch. Juicy for the man, Seiko for the goal. You could just see as soon as that very slow to this reset. Atto dropped down. Is Matera there? No, yes! Yes, no! Sure. Sure. Ah! Was it in? Was it out? Was it a win? Was it a loss? Hovering on the goal line, and Matera sends oh. Seiko absolutely clear. Right. One for the mental. It's weak. Seiko pushes it across. Atto gets the read. No boost for Gentle Mates. He just wants the ball down. He's given it away. However, Rise right there. 50 down. Itachi, sidewall, still up. Here we Chance. go. Seiko blocks. Itachi wants the pass blocked down, still up. Up high, still in that blue half. Anything to the ground. Rise face. KC secure there first. Rice is looking busy. Vatira's faking everyone. Pass across, no one home. But it's open at the back. A double chance. Atto, of course, securing it. And standing up, calling on all of his fans. That's what we want to see from Atto. We saw it yesterday, Limbound. Can't get the infield he wanted. There's the space. It's just Atto. He's just throwing the kitchen sink at it. Oh! The second.
second for Atto. A very loose touch from Itachi in the middle, and then a 50 that Juicy just could not read, but he put forward a great effort to save. Demo, is he gonna help? There's the pass, pass. to Seiko, blocked again by Rise. You see that off this kickoff immediately, Gentweights are pushing, they're attacking Seiko again! Going central, it's Itachi! And how good was the fake? Seiko takes it up, off the ceiling, and Rise, the pass. Final five, ticking down the Tashi, right hand side, up high, three boost. The man central, it's Seiko! But the floor is fell, and Casey moves into the fifth. Right now, on the touch that down, finds Vatira to the backboard, it's gonna be awkward. Vatira's not there, but rises! He never even wanted it, Vatira, because he knew he had his old pal underneath. Rise, open net top. Just takes and burns these seconds off the clock. Now, zero second place, onto the ceiling, down to the ground, carving core on series point. From him to clear it away. Yeah, General Mace just a little bit too eager to follow up. Juicy with space, reset around one, fake around two, there we go! The drought has ended. Gentle mates win one back on Neo Tokyo. It's Hachi. Come in for that third man attack. Midfield again, Atto shoots right, very low on target. It is raised and draw up game six. He's just always there, phenomenal positioning. He was looking for the bump and he found the shot, redirect on net. Got the little doink over the top. Shot directly on target, cleared away. Juicy wants to go backboard. He's up, it's central, it's on target. Attempting a must see in the midfield, it's low, it's another chance. Juicy, anyone central, he's on the crossbar, he goes down for the top, it's not together, but Itachi does! Game seven magic! Juicy again, off the backboard, double tap, Rice couldn't get it, but Itachi good. Gentle mates, three minutes away from the grand final. Upset of the century, if Gentle mates can get no this way. one, and on the open net! Central sees Vatira, gets the touch. Vatira oh, takes it low with a block on the goal line. Another chance! The deficit is won! They just never go away, this team. 33 seconds. Vatira just sits himself in front of the ball. Rice cleans up. Spoil the party. Two seconds. Pass in the ground. Chuchi's on it. And two. That's the challenge. Blocked out. Ball still up. Rice. What can he do? He got Chance now, Atto up high, 50 boost, but now it falls to gentle mates. To the ground, this ball has to go. Rise is the one to help it, they're still held high. Still Side high. wall, Atto, any chance for a ball to hit the ground? I'm losing my voice, I'm losing my breath. Rise has space, does pop it, ball <laughs> Taken away by Juicy, and quickly on the play is Itachi after the demo! Oh! And Gentleman score! Itachi here first. Look at the pass there from Juicy. Big pickup. Itachi able to bring it all the way downfield. Strong counter. Double committed midfield. Hey, it's coming! Coming! Can they force it down? No! No time on the clock. Daniel to play hero, and Seiko says no. Atomic now it's coming up. He can keep it in the air. He's got Daniel winning. Yep. Daniel's there! And oh! Saved away as well! How many more do they have in the chamber? As Bismo brings it all the way back. And Atomic will leave it for Daniel.
G2 going deep into the bag of tricks here to try and stay alive. Finally set across. This will angle downward. Can anybody get there? Yes, they can. Well, how about this effort out of G2? Win or lose, you got to fire it. any space, which is easier said than done right now against Gentlemates. Oh, what a He's got it right in the eyes! What a setup, though, by Seiko. Itachi here gets the 50, and then Seiko dashes it right towards the midfield. Juicy able to paint the shot. Bispo trying to find any space at all. Again, tough to do, but he's got back. He's got it! Oh, Juicy got him to make the save! Beast mode, great control, almost got it over Juicy. Juicy got a bump for Beast mode, but Atomic able to finish the job. He's been so down. Give the man some help. Itachi, gonna let that go to Seiko, and he whipped on it. Atomic, two in a row. Uncharacteristic whip from Seiko. This one bounces off the corner wall. He tried to jump early, couldn't get there, and Atomic made him pay the price. Big time moments here, but still can't break through for an equalizer. Another infield pass. Atomic can't reach it. Juicy's done it again. Thread at the needle. Ball off the sidewall. Beautiful pass from Itachi. And Juicy right behind the defense. Will he need to be even more proficient in the shooting department? We'll have to see. He's going off the ceiling, trying to see if he can end it. radar for a finals MVP, but he may be indeed the most valuable player. Daniel, Atomic will pick this one up. He gets a little bit of room, low boost, has to play a 50. Oh! Daniel gets involved, and G2 pitching your net. Atomic involved again, this time setting it up for Daniel. We've seen G2 collect and Gentlemates almost got caught napping. Daniel can almost leave that for Atomic. Maybe he got too greedy. Oh! Can't stop it, and we're tied! What a shot from Seiko! 50 goes straight to him, and he lets it rip. Off the post and in! Just like that, we're back. Sit out. Oh, but G2 in a tough spot here. Everybody low on boost, and they try to figure a way out. Seiko, gonna try to drop that down for Juicy! Juicy! <laughs> Drop it down. Atomic, Bimo, they all saw it. Daniel saw it too late. And it's in their net. Up ahead, Daniel again. He had Beast Mode down there, but just couldn't get enough on that ball. Beast Mode trying to stay in the play again. No second. Left it for Atomic, who strikes again and has G2 in front again. Atomic pushes that one to midfield. You see Beast Mode, it's a great touch to get a pass to. And then Atomic back on the follow. Potential challenge, but still, though, he's gonna end up running out of boost. Beast mode again, a great one to bounce right in front of Daniel, who puts it top left. G2 starting to get the ball rolling. Better late than never. Another assist out of Beast mode, this time setting up his longtime V1 teammate, Daniel. Careful, though, gentlemen, still have plenty of time here on the clock to make something work. Atomic, though, got it. Look at that pass from Daniel. That flip was perfect. Seiko had the worst to clear, and he gave it right to Atomic. Surprise. The G2 getting a little too antsy on the offensive end. Instead, that pitch is all the way down. And why net. not into their net? Give Atomic a hat trick. You really got to write that one off at this point. That one, if anything, solidified the game. Great challenge there from Atomic all the way downfield. Because you certainly can't get multiples at once. The final countdown here in game four. G2 survives. We'll find a fifth game. From Europe, win an RLCS land as the number four seed as Seiko makes the save. Follow up. Get by Juicy. Who else but Atomic again? G2 start off strong. Look at that from Dale. Forcing the tough clearance. And Atomic's been there again to push it into the back of the net. Seiko's got that out towards where Beast Mode went, but he wisely lets Daniel take over. Atomic has Dan Oh my so god! Goes Daniel! Oh my gosh! He's just unreal! The prodigy! Off the ceiling! Got the flip reset! Under the crossbar! 
Gentle Mane's only one shot to their name. Beast Mode trying to add another. Daniel with the shot! Bang! What was it? Like a point nothing rating after the first day at this landmark. Everything's still coming up. G2 stride. Beast Mode wide open. Got around on it! 4 0. Beast Mode's first to the finals. Here's Beast, but a tan, great assist to a Beast Mode goes to get it. Great recovery, and it's an open look, open net, 4 0 score line. They give him something to think about. Otherwise, surely a timeout coming. Senko for Itachi, forced it through. That's what they needed, still just under two to go. They end the drought here. Jimmy Mace now getting on the board. Good initial challenge. Senko with a great pass, and Itachi's there to push it in. Dangerous here now for the G2 defense. Juicy trying to get back in it. No. Follow oh, up. He got the ball to follow up. He's going. half the lead. And they're still starting to cut it down. Juicy, great 50 sees Beast Mode. Two to loop. Open net for Seiko. And they're within two. Seconds. Two, one. They're out of time. And G2 has sent us to Neo Tokyo when about 15 minutes ago it seemed impossible. Itachi's hit everything except the net over the last few games. Now Juicy trying to get it going. No! Seiko! Rebound! Score! Gentlemen, shot after shot after shot, and they finally find the back of the net. Clears for Atomic, goes straight to Seiko, and Daniel just couldn't get it. But Juicy will collect now. Can he stay with the play? Just about. And Itachi was there too. G2 can't break out, and Atomic here makes the save! Strikes! He wants to end it right here! To get to this far, is it just to let it go? Light touch here to Beast Mode, plays it slow, double! Yeah! Up high and down hard, brilliant feed from Daniel. New B Mode would be there. All those twos they played. And the touch, he's done it again on Neo Tokyo. Yes, sir! Time, gentle mates. I 
Tachi, what a, what a journey this has been. I mean, you look electric and ecstatic right now. You look so happy. Yeah. They are amazing. Yeah, I have no words. Like, uh, sorry for the bad word, but yeah. We, we worked really hard to be here. Didn't have a good split, but we worked really hard to, to come back, to bounce back. We, we changed everything about our gameplay, and it worked so well. So proud of the... Sorry again. <laughs> I'll give you one more. <laughs> you guys at the beginning of this were uh, referenced as the leftovers a couple times, but I bet you this feels like home now. Yeah, for sure. No one predicted us. Everyone said we were going to lose first round, second round, third round. Quarterfinal, there is no chance we win. Carmen Corp, seed one Europe. We won't win. Look at us now. We're winning. Uh, does it work on predictions? Right here, we played very well and really proud of them. They're amazing. Hey, Juicy, talking to you now. Oh, yeah, come on over here. Come on, let's let's hang it out. For you, you are icy on land right now. You are icy. Uh, I'm questioning: Are these guys making the difference for you? Is is this the difference maker? Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> I mean, they, they're like. They're there, like, the whole way through, so I'm just happy to be there and happy. Thanks, thank you. Thank you guys to be here. Merci, les gars. Merci. Merci, les gars. Merci. Absolutely incredible. I mean, for you, there's, there's, there's no way anyone could fathom coming into this. You feel confident. There's no way you can fathom that you were going to go through this entire tournament without losing once, especially seeing the bracket you guys had. I mean, it was like a pretty tough t bracket. We got Rulwan, Falcons, uh, then we got uh, BDS, Genji, KC, and G2. All of them were close games. I mean, what can I say? <laughs> what can I say? I got a question for Seiko. It's the world champion down there. Yep. That's right. <laughs> for you now, from world champion and then multiple finals in a row, it must get frustrating to not win them. Is this a relief for you to finally get a win here now on LAN again? Est-ce que c'est un soulagement pour toi d'enfin réussir après avoir perdu plusieurs finales, d'enfin réussir à en gagner une? En vrai, Vitality, ils ont leur air, ils m'ont farm en LAN, ils m'ont culé à chaque fois en finale. Mais maintenant, c'est l'air de Gentlemate, les gars. Vitality. Vitality had their time, uh, they always beat me en LAN, but now it's the start of the Gentlemate era. And then I do want to ask Eversax, I need you to tell me, you stuck with Itachi through all this crazy roster move stuff. I just want you to tell me how incredible it is and proud of these boys you are. Um, I'm so, so proud, especially when uh, we had a tough split. We had to really think about what we could do better, what we could change. We worked so hard and uh, I think it's, it's paying. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. <laughs> Now, there's one more order of business for you guys. Please, welcome to the stage, Squishy with your medals. It's time for more celebration. One more time for your Copenhagen major winners, Gentlemates!